This is Connor Galvin, a project manager with Kelly Roofing, doing the tile roof inspection here at 125 Shell. Inside the attic, I did find staining and some rotted wood right here on the plywood. And where that is coming from is from this 8 foot off ridge vent here. Um, the ridge vent is used for the attic ventilation to get the hot air out of the attic, and it is leaking and caused a stain right here. Something else I noticed in the attic here is you're severely under insulated. Um, if you look, you can see the bare rafter exposed right here, and you have what's called cellulose uh, insulation. Uh, this is actually a conductor of, of fire, and it is not fire retardant, so it is not recommended to install this type of insulation in the beginning. Another thing is you only have six inches, if you can see here, um, of insulation. Florida Power and Lighting Company recommends that you use R38, so 38 inches of insulation for this part of the United States. Also, experts say that each inch of insulation that you're missing is adding $100 per energy cost to your home um, bill each year. So by adding insulation, you would keep out the heat transfer and it would drastically reduce your heating and cooling, or excuse me, your cooling bill. Up on the roof now, um, here's the off-ridge vent that was leaking. Uh, there's two problems actually with this off-ridge vent. The first being that it's eight foot in size. And if uh, you can see here, um, this eight foot stretch is a very long stretch where water could actually dam up behind here um, and get underneath the tiles. Um, it's actually recommended to go with two separate four foot off-ridge vents and probably have one installed on this side of the roof and then the other installed on this side of the roof. That way you have um, a way for water to divert better around the vent and not dam up. The second problem with the off-ridge vent here is they didn't include for what's called top flashing at the base here. So any wind-driven rain, water can get underneath the tiles here and then run underneath the roof system. We would want to include for top flashing that would keep the water flow under t on top of the tiles and make sure it ran off the roof correctly. Um, so it would be recommended to replace this 8-foot off-ridge vent with two 4-foot vents and then add the missing top flashing.